happy to turn over to Senator Voinovich uh, the opportunity to make an opening statement. Uh, thank you, Senator Shaheen. I am uh, really very happy to uh, be given this opportunity to come back and visit the Foreign Relations Committee and uh, appreciate your uh, making it possible for me to sit with you uh, in what I consider to be a very important hearing on the unfinished business in, in Southeast Europe. I'd also like to thank the Chairman of the Committee, uh, Ranking Member Luger and Senator Mint for allowing me the courtesy of participating in today's uh, hearing. Uh, this is going to be my last year in the Senate, and uh, many of you know that I've been working on Southeast European issues since my arrival to the Senate, and quite frankly before that as, not officially, but uh, as Governor of the State of Ohio. Uh, and I am truly heartened that uh, Senator Shaheen, as Chairman of the European Subcommittee, has uh, uh, provided uh, some wonderful leadership uh, in this area and is as familiar with it uh, uh, as I have been, and I'm grateful publicly to thank her for the time that we spent together there, which uh, involved, I think, six countries, 26 meetings, uh, uh, but it was very, very uh, worthwhile. Um, during the time that we were there, we talked about constitutional reform uh, and expedited MAP status for, uh, for Bosnia, uh, the need to maintain K-4 troop levels in Kosovo, uh, giving the in, uh, impending International Court of Justice decision on Kosovo independence, and the need for an expeditious and amicable resolution of the Macedonia the FIROM is name issue so that uh, we can uh, quickly integrate uh, uh, that uh, country into the European uh, Atlantic institutions. Uh, during all our meetings, uh, what was made clear is the security, stability, and economic uh, well-being of, of the region. And it was very interesting. I met yesterday with a businessman that had been at it for about 15 years and talked about our visit there. and and. Uh, they uh, applauded the fact that we continued to work and trying to make sure that the right infrastructure is there. They're as much concerned about some of this as we are because they've worked so hard and they, they would not like to see um, uh, a couple of, some people refer to black holes that just don't seem to be going anywhere and will not be part of uh, our vision to get everyone into to NATO and into, uh, into the European uh, Union. Uh, we have some distinguished witnesses here today. Uh, I welcome uh, uh, Ambassador Verschbal here and Assistant Secretary Philip Gordon. Uh, we've had a chance to meet when, uh, when we were in Brussels. And uh, the two other witnesses that we're going to have, uh, Ivan uh, Voivodov was at, at Brussels, and uh, Kurt Volker uh, was with us two years ago. And uh, so uh, we're pre appreciative of your uh, being here today. Uh, one of the things uh, that I'd like to bring out and underscore is the positive comments that uh, the chairman has made in regard to what's happened in the region. Uh, it's uh, almost miraculous. And uh, one of the great days of my life was to be uh, involved in a panel uh, with uh, the two, two presidents, uh, one from uh, uh, Sepovic from Croatia and, and uh, Tadic from Serbia. Uh, and the uh, uh, man that's in charge of European enlargement. But the, the thing that really made an impression on me was here were the president of Serbia, presidents of Croatia, sitting on the same platform together, both talking about how they were going to try to work to make sh sure that things work out in Bosnia, both talking about how they're going to try to work together to improve the, uh, the en environment in the region, and, uh, and that was supported from the meetings that we had with, with others throughout the region. It was very interesting. Everyone was interested in their particular country, but everyone understood that there was a symbiotic relationship among the countries that were there, and that the more that they were able to cooperate with each other, the better off all of them were going to be, which is something that uh, I've dreamed for for a, a long period of time. So, Madam Chairman, thank you very much uh, for giving me this chance to, to sit here, and, and I'm anxious to hear from our witnesses. 
Thank you very much, Senator Voinovich. And let me just recognize some of the ambassadors who are in the audience. And um, maybe you could just 